So today I'm going to show you how to make a Cricut heat transfer vinyl iron-on for your project. So the first thing you want to do is go into the computer and click on Cricut Design Space. When you get there, you're going to select New Project. Once you get to New Project, you can decide if you want to insert an image, um, pick from a text box shapes or upload your own design. So I'm going to, for a sample, just do a text box and you'll see the text is down here. And for the sample, I'm just going to type my name and you'll see that it types it big here and that's what I'm working with. You can also change the font by double clicking. It will appear back up here and you can see, you can change the font, the style, the size, and really a lot of different settings. Now, there are fonts that cost money and there are fonts that are free. So select one that is free for our program. And then when you adjust the size, you can see it tells you in inches how big it will be. For the sample, keep the, the design under two by two so that we aren't wasteful. So next we're going to go to the top right corner and select make it. And that's going to direct us to what our mat will look like. It's showing it's black, but it really just depends on the color of the vinyl that you insert. And I want to select mirroring. That's very important. Whenever you're doing words, since it is going to be ironed on, it's going to look backwards, but when we iron it on, it will be forwards. So that's really important. My cut mat is a 12 by 12. I need one copy. And so then I go down here and I say, so you'll notice that it says it's connecting the machine and it will identify that the machine is connected through USB. So here's my machine. It's important that it's on and that it's plugged in the USB port. So I'm going to select the open button open the Cricut and then on here it's telling me I'm set to iron-on which is correct you can change the material here we're using an iron-on heat transfer vinyl next step is to cut my vinyl since I know my design is less than two by two I'm going to cut a small square of vinyl so I'm not wasting so now I'm ready to adhere my vinyl. First thing I want to do is take off this protective cutting mat. That helps it stay sticky. And then you have to make sure of your vinyl that the shiny side goes down. We're always going to put our vinyl in the top corner, lining it up on the lines. And then we're ready to load. So to load the mat, you start by sliding it under these grooves here and then select the arrow and it will pull the mat in and you'll know it's right when it's underneath these wheels so again see how it pushed out I push this in and it will actually pull it inward that way you know it's aligned the final step is to press go so I'm going to push the blinking light and then just watch, keep the area clear, and it will show you on here the percentage that's done, and then you can watch on the machine as it cuts. So then it tells me on the screen to unload the mat, push this, and I'm going to peel the paper off. And now I'm going to separate the left. So I'm ready to apply my vinyl to my fabric. First thing I want to do is preheat my fabric with the iron to get it warm for about 10 to 15 seconds. So after you've cut your vinyl, it's time to weed out anything excess that isn't your actual design. So I'm going to use 
these tools to help pick around the word gel. You'll find that once you have it started, it's pretty easy to pull around the letters. So now my fabric is preheated. I'm going to place the design plastic side, the shiny side is up. I just place it where I want, making sure it's centered and exactly um, looking exactly as I want it to. Then I'm going to take the pressing cloth and place it over my design. And then I'm going to use my iron on the cotton setting and I'm going to hold the iron for 15 seconds with some pressure so that it adheres. Okay, so the final step is to peel the plastic carefully off. Do this slowly and if it seems like it's not coming off, then hold it down and iron it a little bit longer. Once you take it off, it should adhere and be smooth and ready to go.